Welcome to Paragus. Eh. Sure is bubbly sounding in here. Jesus. I think I can really tone that down a little bit. Now right here you see this cultal tank. We can interact with it. If we hop back in it, we can heal ourselves. You know, in case we get hurt somehow. It's probably not going to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, those guys have face models from the first game, I think. Yeah, I think they do. Eh. Let's move along, shall we? Hey, a morgue! That sounds like definitely where you want to be. And a door. Emergency. Don't worry, I have sweet Jedi Kung Fu. Let's do this. Yeah, let's kick this door down with my... Yeah, that's not going to work. We actually need a... Yeah, it says a plaza torch. You should probably find one of those, right? Yeah. We have to get into that morgue. So, let's look around. Oh, yeah, and here's a lab station. They're pretty much workbenches, but for medical items, like implants and grenades and stuff like that. You know, as you can see, same deal as the workbenches. You need certain levels of your skills to use them and make items. And implants are different in this game. You don't need a feet anymore. You just need to have a constitution higher than the number the implant tells you. It is better, kind of. I prefer the feet, but that's just me anyways. There's a bunch of logs in here. I'm not gonna watch them. You can watch them when you play this game yourself, because you should. Oh. Oh, what? What? what, what? Somebody administered a bunch of sedatives. That's, that's bad, but we can't track this because I don't have any spikes. Oh, well, we can open this like, closet. And the morgue, yeah, I... Nothing's happening, really. I mean, come on, we're opening stuff. Yeah, well, let's take stuff, shall we? Like, oh, med packs, yay. More med packs? Come on. Oh, chemicals. Chemicals are also used for the lab station stuff. That's what you use when you... Well, that's what you get when you break stuff down at a lab station and get chemicals. You know, like components, but for lab stations. Hey, it's the person from the Ebonhawk who's dead. Yeah, they look pretty dead. Pretty extra dead. Is that what that smell is? Uh. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awaken. It may be I reached out unconsciously, and your mind must have been a willing one. Or perhaps you have been trained for such things. I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. We were attacked once, and I fear our attackers will not give up the hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. Well, we can ask her about this. Doesn't really matter, though, because, well... She's been dead for the past several hours. I do not know. Why did they spare you? Indeed, a Jedi trance could protect one from such poisons. In fact, the sedatives may have been intended to keep you unconscious for some time. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques, however. Most curious. And so do you. Perhaps we could discuss it at length later on. 
Now we have other concerns, among them finding our new enemy. Hey, we got our first dark side, light side dialogue choice right here. Isn't that special? Uh, what am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? I leave you to the explorations of this place. Here, I will remain and attempt to center myself. Light side, what? Yeah, light side. I have my reasons. I will explain them in great length later. Yeah, she's gonna just sit there and meditate. That's that's helpful. Really helps us escape. Anyways, we have a plasma torch. We have we have got to cut a door down with this thing because that's what they do. They're really awful at actually fighting stuff, but they can cut things instantaneously. Yeah. We've upgraded from electric dildos to flaming dildos. That is just awesome. So if you bash something with a plasma torch, it just immediately cuts it down, which is pretty useful. There's a couple other weapons that do that as well. We don't have them, and we won't get them for a while. Anyways, let's let's look let's look around. Let's find stuff. We got a plasma sword, not a plasma sword, a vibra blade, plasma sword. That'd be awesome. Anyways, this is the cool thing about Coder 2, is you can have two weapons equipped, so you can switch between them, which is useful because you can have like a plasma torch and a sword, or a sword and a gun, or something. It's useful. You'll see. It's it's awesome. And combat finally with our main character. These are the mining droids. They are awful. Even though they have two guns, they only fire with one. It's kind of weird. And yes, the uh, power attack, critical strike, flurry actually have new animations. They're pretty sweet. Yeah, eat that critical strike up. Ha. <laughs> Uh, the new flurry. The power attack has an awesome animation. It's so great. We need to see it eventually. Yeah, it's kind of a cock tease. We're a Jedi, but we don't have any force powers. That's 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 just that's just cruel right there. Oh, I found a mining laser. Mining lasers are gonna be blasters for a while. They look just like blasters, and they do the same amount of damage. So I don't know why they're not just blasters, but whatever. Yeah, you see. Not much has changed with combat, it just isn't laggy as all hell. Isn't that... isn't that normal? It's great. Eh. Come on, shoot the robot, thank you. Uh, it has an icon, I hate when it does that, when it looks like there's gonna be remains that there aren't. Eh. Okay. Hold on a second here. Yeah, okay, I thought that was off, because I was trying to walk and it wasn't happening. It's odd. Stupid keyboard. Damn you wireless keyboards! Uh-huh. That's a nice little touch there, too. This is the exit, but it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Kreia? No, it was the other person that talks to you in your head. Jeez. And this hatch, you should maybe open it. Probably. As I was saying, this game will actually show you when something is empty by just saying nothing, which is nice. The first game didn't do that. It's nice that this one does. Security tunneler and a thing that I don't have security skills, so we're probably just gonna need to use our good old plasma torch for a while. Which can lead to broken items, yeah. If you have security, use it. I don't. So there you go. Anyways. Yeah, there's cameras, eh? Let's look at this one. Yeah, that's where I am. What about this one? Oh, that looks bad. What about this one? Nothing. What about this one? What? Yeah, there's a person. That's that's good. We should probably find that person, right? What is it this? <laughs> I just clicked on his ass. That's that's awesome. Let's watch this log right here. It's the only one we should watch. I've installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. That guy's an awesome voice. Nothing will cut through that door. Yeah, I can't even do it. Anyways, let's go. Let's blaster it up, though. Be careful. 
There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Yeah, I know. I saw them on the little camera. Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see. And instead, reach out with your perceptions. Yeah, I already saw them on the camera. Thing. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive. But the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel. Echoing outwards. Uh, the precognition. Oh, I should save my game. Oh no. You know what? Why not? Let's save our game. Because Kreia said so. Yeah. I get to think of clever save games. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Hey, three mining droids. That's great. Let's kill them all. Uh, what kind of fight a console should be in by themselves without the force powers? Mm. Ah, you hear it. It is fate, but it is there. Okay, I'm kind of busy right now. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Yeah, we leveled up. That's good. Really, it is. No, it's terrible. We leveled up an RPG. That's awful. I can't believe this happened. Yeah, you're kind of supposed to level up when the fight's over, but if you look around a little bit more, you'll get a little more experience to level up slightly sooner. Anyways, we get force sensitive when we level up, and that means we get a bunch of force points, which is great, because we need force points. Jedi without force points is just a regular guy, and that's not cool. Yeah, yeah recommend it seems to work for me for my skills. Ooh, I get to pick power. That's awesome. Yeah, there's some new powers, actually. Let's take a look at some of those. Some of them are, uh, force barriers and new power. It's... it's okay, I guess. Battle meditation, which does not own everyone like it did in the first game. It's just, you know, it's an okay power. Force body, which is pretty stupid. Look at it. It's just, you know, you don't want that. Revitalize. Really useful, but we can't get it yet. Um, deflection is pretty good. It pretty much gives you a lightsaber without having a lightsaber. At least for deflecting stuff. Uh, there's some new evil powers, too. Like, where is it? There's one, Force Suppression. It just cancel stuff. It's, you know, it's neat. I suppose, if you want to use it. Uh, Drain Force. Just let you, well, Drain Force. Pretty self-explanatory. Force Scream, which is pretty good. It's like a big sonic attack. It's useful. Uh, Mind Trick, which lets you turn enemies to your side. I think it'd be smart right now to get Stun Droid. Don't you guys think that'd be smart? Considering? I mean, we are fighting a ton of droids. But you know, I think that's enough for this episode, so I'll see you guys next time with some more Coder 2. Take care.